Welcome everyone back to RimWorld. So on the comments of last video, I left a pinned comment asking for your guys' you know, opinion on would you like me to have time lapses of pretty much all I did in between episodes. I'll probably stay honestly zoomed out because I usually don't do much. I just kind of let them continue on their tasks. But do you guys want me, I'll probably leave another comment pinned at the bottom of my video. Do you guys want me to keep these time lapses in? Um, just kind of showing what I do in between episodes. I don't know if you guys want to see that or not. Um, but leave it down on that pinned comment. But with that said, let's cue the time lapse. So I hope you guys did enjoy that, and we now have a raid here from the who are they from? H messages the Bulky Majat League. Okay, interesting. Um, let's see what kind of guns they have to start off with. Um, ooh, they seem pretty well armed to be honest. They have a battle rifle, a M4A1 gun nut. We had one of those in our last series. Or not the last series, the series before that. Uh, an aggressor, a MP7A1 Hornet. Ooh, wow. Okay, these guys are pretty well armed, to be honest. Um, hmm. Maybe we try waiting for melee? Also, by the way, uh, McKay got beaten up by <laughs> one of our Ents, which is just wonderful, honestly. Um, Pleco, do we have any extra guns? We should probably give Pleco a gun. We could give him a heavy SMG. Huh. Better yet, a light SMG. We can have a... Uh, no, I'll, I'll actually give him the heavy SMG. I was about to say, we can have the massive tree thing shooting off an extremely small gun at a bunch of people. Um, okay. Does everyone else have a gun? Tommy gun, Tommy gun. Service rifle, the juice cannon, Tommy gun, and Saiga. Okay. Um, I might also build some new weapons because the Tommy guns, while they are kind of, <coughs> kind of interesting, they're not the greatest weapons, so I might make everyone LMGs or heavy SMGs, I'm not sure yet. It seems they don't know we have a fire mage because they are building their defenses out of wood, which, uh, I guess is to our favor. Um, but I am moving our people down right now. They should get there fairly quickly. I'm going on the third speed. Let's ignore that. Just in case we get into some kind of combat. Um, did none of their people have construction skill? Wait. <laughs> I don't think any of their people have enough construction skill to build these mortars. Wait, let's go on a first speed? <laughs> um, hold on. Let me check these guys real quick. I don't know. They have so okay. This this is the highest leveled construction guy. He's got seven point three three seven, and he's just wandering. Okay. I mean, I'm fine with this. I mean, I I think they'll just leave after a while because they'll get bored. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can all go back home, I guess. So it's been a bit over a day, and I they're not building anything. <laughs> um. I think they're just going to consume all their meals and then they're going to start dying of malnutrition. <gasps> and then we can capture them all and sacrifice them. That, <laughs> I hope that does happen. This is what my channel's become. Us seeing if we can sacrifice a bunch of mantises who are too stupid to build us uh, some artillery. However, on the other hand, we could run HB out right now. Launch a fireball directly at their mortar shells and like <laughs> and take out the big group This is probably a horrible idea, but uh, I'm up for it. I guess also there's a combat supplier You know, it's been the game is being very nice today It gives us a siege that can't build <laughs> Sieging equipment and then it gives us a combat supplier. It's it's wonderful All right, I am aiming to hit this Please don't hit the wooden barrier, or else you're probably going to be dead. Okay, um, start running. 
I can't imagine they're gonna be. <gasps> I think it's gonna be a direct hit. Oh, it totally was. What? Amazing. That that couldn't have gone any better. We got their Saiga. We got their Hornet. We got all their steel. That was a perfect hit too. Wow. Look at me using my big brain. I mean, maybe that wasn't the smartest thing to do because we now have about um. 13 very angry mantises who were just about blown up um, coming to our front door. So that's kind of fun. Um, you might want to run HB just a little bit faster. Um, I think they're going to cut your limbs off if they get you. Whoa! Look at this! Look! Oh, that's so cool. It gives off like particle streams. That's really cool. I really like that. Anyway, the first group should be coming in any time now. Um, melee attacking wind turbine. Um, um, excuse me? What? <laughs> How did this happen? Um, Rose, can you go? Okay, she's already doing that real quick. Oh, that's not good. Who do you guys think is stronger? A seventh generation vampire with a shotgun or some mantis people with a Glock and flash grenades? I mean, we're going to find out. So, uh, start running. Oh, yeah. First try, we kill them. Oh! No! That's not fair. That is not fair. You just stunned us both. What an idiot. Oh, Rose instantly broke out of it, though. Doesn't even matter. We destroyed him. Good job, guys. Okay. It looks like Rose is just gonna have to hold this position. Um, who do we... Who else do I think could substitute? Pleco, congratulations. You're on defense duty. Okay, there we go. Blisk Pike is down. He's got four hours. We shot off his leg. Um, this guy is four hours as well. We can capture them. Um, any more of them coming? Uh, looks like a few more are indeed coming. Rose is going to have to get indoors, unfortunately. Pleco is on his way to go defend against these guys. Alright, come on, Pleco. This is your chance to shine. Show us how good you are with your gun. I mean, you do have 13 shootings, so you should destroy this guy. Come on. He just headshot a tree. What? It instantly, permanently injured him. Oh, no. That's not good. Um, what are we looking at? Oh, okay. The first guy actually died as soon as he... That's illegal. You're not allowed to do that. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, that, that was scary. Um, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Thankfully, this should end pretty quickly. It is a bit odd how... Um, okay, you shadow bolted him. How are you not dead? Okay, um, Trastian, come over and help him out, please. Um, Mori, can you come up here and shoot this man? He's not being very nice. Uh, they are fleeing, it looks like. Okay, that's good. The rest of you guys might want to go save... Oh, capture prisoners. Yes, that's what I meant. Okay, we took this guy down. That's another service rifle. Um, McKay, can you come grab that, actually? Actually, no, McKay has the really good Tommy gun. So, you can probably switch out your gun. Well, since the game just decided to instantly send us this raid, I feel like the only thing that, you know, makes the most sense is to sacrifice them. Instantly. Uh, let's, let's get, <laughs> let's get the, the you know, non-PG stuff already out there. Um, what do we want to do? We probably just want to do it for, yeah, make a sacrifice without any, any worldly gains. This means we'll gain more favor instead of something else. So, let's sacrifice bicep. Alright, first sacrifice is coming in. And give us some favor. Success! Um, what are we standing at now? Worship favored 28.3. Okay, let's do another one then. Okay, someone's already hauling him off. Sacrifice. Um, uh, let's sacrifice Blisk. Sacrifice. Um, there we go. Sacrifice. I, I just did. Ooh, Blisk Pike. Sacrifice him. Sa sac sacrifice. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe we need to kill someone else first. There we go. Kill, kill that man. Let's go on a four speed. And... Uh, uh, oh my god. Move faster, please. Yes! Succeed! Yes! We succeeded again. Another sacrifice. Wonderful. This is just a sacrifice spree. W what are we doing now? 
Oh, okay, they gathered for worship, I guess. I don't know. Um, Thrang's Catacombs. You're being sacrificed next. Gather for a sacrifice. Nope. Four sacrifices in a day. Amazing. Come on. Let's, mo let's move faster. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Another one. Success. There we go. Um, let's go for the last one. Unchievable Gomokrites. Sacrifice. <laughs> Just leave his dead body outside. Problem solved. Come on. Let's go. Do it. Do it. Yes. Yes. All right. We sacrificed all of the prisoners and we got a success every single time, which is pretty good. Um, what is our worship here at now? We are at 31 out of 42. Not horrible, but eh, I, I was kind of hoping for maybe a little bit more. So we've just unlocked Terrain Rehabilitation, which allows us to layer dirt on rough stone and other terrains to make underground warehouses. In our case, um, we can just do this. We can literally make the desert into a, <laughs> into a green paradise. I don't think this is how it works in real life, but um, I'm not exactly an expert on geology either. I never realized before now how powerful the Terrain Rehabilitation Research was. I mean... You can literally turn a desert into, like, a savanna, which is insane. Um, I actually wanted to see how good this, like, these wooden planter boxes were, but we can't grow anything on them, so it's not even worth it. But once we've turned all of this into soil, we can then turn it into tilled soil, which then I'm probably going to grow a bunch of devil strand on, because we need devil strand for the scribing table to make all of the higher level spells. All right, welcome back. We are making pretty good progress on the terraforming project, um, but we have a mechanoid cluster landing, and where it's landing at the lower part again. It always lands there. Okay. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> um. What do we do here? HB, HB, HB. Okay, I'm gonna have HB try and fireball it and see if we can deal with it that way because otherwise we are kind of screwed like <laughs> there's a centipede here with a charge blaster they have an auto charge turret covering them um another mech capsule okay hopefully hb's gonna be able to do enough damage here um you don't have enough mana hold on let me run over to the mana batteries or better yet we could just spend it on fireball efficiency there we go, we now have enough mana to, <laughs> to afford our fireball. And it now costs 42 mana due to those two points added into fireball efficiency. Okay, uh, what is that mortar aiming at? It doesn't matter. Point is, we need to hit this. Dead on, and it needs to explode, or we're screwed. Okay, um, we didn't kill it. That is not good. Um, that is very bad. Right now, I'm having Rose engage in combat with a Scyther. Point blank combat as well, so it's, um, fairly dangerous, to put it lightly. Um, let's cast Vampiric Healing and then start pulling back. Oh no, they're about to get through. Um, <laughs> this has gone very wrong very quickly. Everyone get over here. If we want to survive, we're gonna need to shoot a lot of bullets and hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully, we can survive this. Thankfully, Rose is a great tank because she's a vampire. Um, vampiric healing. And worst comes to worst, I can throw her into mist form and she'll be fine. The doors did close behind her, so that is good. But, okay, there we go. They're all dealt with. Um, HB, how are you doing? My what was that? There was an explode. <gasps> the mortar! What did it blow up? Hold on, what did it blow <laughs> What did it blow up? Um, I can't tell. Okay, okay, okay. Here's here's what we're going to do here. HB, you're going to run over, get more mana from there, and everyone else is going to defend at the front lines. Because there is a Scyther coming, so... Th or, not a Scyther, a Centipede coming. So this is going to be a pretty hard fight. But we should be able to get some mana back from our Arcane Capacitors. Uh, health? How? Wait, what? How did she get... Oh, it's the vampire. Okay. Whatever. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. HB, run over here. Let's go. You need more mana. 
All right, there we go. HB now has full mana. Start running over to here, and then we need to fireball the auto mortar one more time. If we can do that, we've got this in the bag. Come on, come on. Where does... Okay, the first Scyther is just about to enter. And by Scyther, I mean Lancer. So the first Lancer has entered. It should die pretty quickly. HB is well on her way to the... No! What do you mean? <sighs> she has mana sickness. Um, um, okay, okay. Rose. Rose, you're gonna... You're going to rescue her and then patch her up real quick. Rose, what is your doctor skill? Ro Rose, Rose. Okay, cool. You're just gonna stabilize her and hopefully she gets up before that auto, mire, auto, uh, auto mortar can fire too many more times. Oh! Oh, no! Whose bed was that? <gasps> they just bombed Rose's room. Um, that's not good. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, tend to her real quick. And how are we doing versus these guys? It seems like we're doing pretty well. All right, the centipede has entered the kill box. It's firing on our turrets. Okay, we just shadow bolted the centipede. It looks like we'll be able to deal with this pretty easily. The main... Ooh, be careful. The main problem is the actual mechanoid cluster itself. Especially if that auto mortar can get off another shot. Um, how much longer does it have? It's reloading. It's got about 49 seconds. Come on, kill it. Shoot it to death. Shoot it. Kill. Stab. Okay, HP is up. HP. Immediately start running over here. All right, the centipede is dead, but we still need HB to run over there and actually launch a fireball. Hurry up. How much longer do we have on the auto mortar? About 20 seconds? 10? 5? All right, it's going to get off at least one more shot. Where's that going to land? Uh, right here? Bedrooms again? Question mark? Oh! battery room okay thankfully it looks like it missed or very nearly missed okay that's that could have been a lot worse could have been a lot worse where are you hb run let's go let's go let's go we need we need to get there okay fireball fireball that please yes fireball it looks like it will be a direct hit and there we go problem solved so we had a combat trader from the Shire show up, and, um, look who's here. <laughs> they decided to sit right up next to the wall where the mechanoid cluster is. It's wonderful! What? <laughs> um, what the heck? Why are they carrying that? Look what they're carrying! I mean, this one doesn't have much, but this one has, like, a Glitter Tech slicing Zeus hammer of excellent quality. And this one had a set, had a uh, prestige cataphract armor. <laughs> um, Mori, as soon as you get off uh, your mental break, I have a set of armor for you. So we've just finished pretty much all of the research. We only have three more up there that I just queued up. Um, what do we want to go for next, though? Uh, maybe obelisk construction. We should probably do that just in case. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Just in case maybe our obelisk gets broken. We will need the harpsichord eventually for Mori's throne room. Uh, mantis social support. Uh, maybe heavy weapons. Make like rocket launches and such. I don't know. Uh, I'll get piano, of course. Waste disposal. There's some batteries. I don't know. I could go for the, what's it called, the climate control. Hospital would be useful, definitely be useful. Uh, maybe shield generators, repulsor technology, always kind of useful too. Uh, I think that's about it for now. Uh, advanced power sources should be helpful as well. But seriously, look at Mori now, he looks like a tank. <laughs> that muffalo had a set of prestige cataphract armor which is probably one of the most expensive items in the game at least base game rim world but it also had this decent helmet that gives like almost a hundred percent sharp armor 
and they were just like a basic. I, I guess maybe the 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 hobbits can produce guns, but they don't use them. I don't know. I mean, pretty much a free set of prestige cataphract armor, though. Pretty nice. We have a manhunting pack of raccoons here. Um, <laughs> that's so stupid. 54 raccoons that want to kill us horribly. So, um, this should be interesting, I guess. Look, the raccoons and the mechanoids are fighting. This was my plan the entire time. <laughs> uh, Rose, that's probably a bad idea. Rose, that's a very bad idea. I would not leave our base right now. Look! They're gonna let themselves be slaughtered. Yes! Charge out and die. <laughs> to kill all the mechanoids. I wonder if they'll charge the actual, like... They totally will. They're gonna charge the enemy turrets, too. Look at this! Raccoons massacring mechanoids. Who would've thought? <laughs> I'm gonna send just Rose out to deal with these guys. We're only one point away from her having Fortitude 4, which means she's gonna be super, super tanky. Let's go on to second speed, maybe. And start shotgunning them. Be careful. Oh no. Um, that is not good. Everyone, you might want to wake up. Start running, Rose. Ugh, get your knives out. This should be interesting. <laughs> start running. Oh no. Yes. Shoot them. Wait, I wanted to hold those open. <sighs> I promise. So someday I'll be good at this game. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Start running. You can deal with this. I can, I'll put those there. She can tank shots if they accidentally shoot her. Um, pause. You might want to pull out your gun. Um, <laughs> it's a big tree with a bullpup rifle. Anyway, this should be pretty simple to deal with. Oh no. Okay, thankfully our turrets dealt with that. They were getting pretty close to the inside of our base. Thankfully, I thought they were going to be a lot harder, but I guess this sort of choke point really does help. Um, unless you guys make the choke point l larger, and then that defeats the point of a choke point. Okay, start melee attacking. And there we go. The last raccoon is laying on the ground, just about to die. Um, Rose, you can probably just go eat it. Yes, eat the last raccoon. But I think that will just about wrap up this episode. I did want to do quite a bit more, but we kept getting raided. It was really weird. Like, pretty much I had that kind of two to three days at the beginning of the episode in that time lapse to kind of work on stuff passively. Get a bunch of research done. That is something we did today. We got a bunch of research done. We started on our terraforming project. We managed to get a few weapon upgrades. Oh, I still need to repair this. <laughs> I pro I'll probably do that eventually, um, but overall, you know, it was kind of fun. We did get to see a few of the mechanics. Oh, we also sacrificed those four guys. What is our uh, worship at right now? 32? So we're only uh, about 10 points away from getting to tier 4. But with that said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Any support that does get us out there is very greatly appreciated. Anyways, have a great day, and goodbye.